Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy AB and welcome to our annual belated Christmas special that we hold once a year. What I got for Christmas 2023. Now I've done one for the past two years. This is the third one I've done. For 2024 is what I got for Christmas. Hopefully I will get it filmed and edited and uploaded in time because I'm this in the next couple of days I'm getting fiber optic internet and I'm gonna start uploading more consistently because that's been a problem. I haven't been uploading as consistent as I wanted to. My channel hasn't been growing for that reason i believe so hopefully i'll start growing more with all these consistent uploads i'm going to be putting on so trust me 2024 is going to be worth it so uh, let's just get into it and uh, i will show you guys the goodies here first one i'm going to show off is my girlfriend's um present to me a uh, shout out to you babe i love you to the moon and back so she got me a polaroid now it's very handy dandy i really like it because it like you know gives 80s vibes when it comes to taking pictures and I've always loved the whole 80s vibe. I mean, recently I kind of swapped my Batman poster that I put up right next to my computer so you can't really see that anymore. And I replaced it with Nightmare on Elm Street poster that I got at uh, Hyperspace Toys in my town. Got it for a good price and I really like it in my room. But these are the pictures that uh, I took. This one's a dud because film tends to suck, which sucks because it's so expensive. There's another one I took a couple days ago before Christmas. And here is a picture that I took recently when I was filming this for like the second time. I, like I, I've tried filming this video so many times. Here's a photo of some of the progress. Oh geez, another present I got that I'm gonna start. Okay, did not gonna go. Well. Another present I'm gonna uh, start wearing throughout the video here is my handy dandy little Kirby hat. My brother Gus got me this one because uh, he said this matched my personality really well. I like to eat a lot. Can't blame him. He's not wrong and this has grown on me a lot I, I i was caught off guard with this present because i'd never really cared for kirby in the nintendo character cast but i really like it it really looks really looks nice i really like it and it's very comfy so uh thank you gus love you dude another present i got from my brother tommy a blinking socks now i got a little funny story that i'd like to share with you guys when i was in elementary school i uh was asked a lot by uh kids i went to school with if I was related to Abe Lincoln. My uh, first name is Robert. He, his oldest son was named Robert. And, you know, my middle name is Abraham. So, yeah, that comes with a nice story. And I really like these socks. And Abe Lincoln has to be one of my favorite presidents in history. I really like him. I don't think he's ever really done anything wrong as a president. Now, I'm going to show off some stuff that I got from my uh, siblings when they went to an elf shop at their school. My brother Henry got me this right here and don't mind the noise in there uh my sister got a karaoke machine uh she's uh, just belting out there there's a friendship bracelet right there that my brother henry got he also got me a pen and my sister lucy got me a squishy uh pen here too well it's the only squishy pen i can really use this as a stress reliever i really like this feels really nice got Target, I got a Target gift card for my brother Gus that came with this hat. Uh, I got a Target gift card for my mom and dad. My dad is responsible for this. He got me a scratch off lottery ticket that I still have yet to scratch off. And now, I don't really care for the lottery, but I like the idea that you can win some money. It's just, every time I scratch off a scratch off ticket, I never win anything. Like, I'm the unluckiest kid when it comes to the lottery. That I'm 21, someone got me a $100 wine voucher since I like to drink every now and then. Uh, don't mind the uh, hair marks right here. Guess Blue's not in my room. Shit. Blue, my, my dog Blue right here chewed the top of these up, but uh, these are Steam gift cards. Maybe I can start playing games like Lethal Company. I mean, I got games from Steam, but uh, it's good that I got some gift cards to buy more games off Steam. So maybe I can start playing Lethal Company. And my mom and dad also got me an Amazon gift card right here. And I love getting me some stuff from Amazon. And my parents also got me a card right here. You can pause the video, I don't feel like reading it out loud. Love mom and dad right there. Uh, what came in the card, I'm about to show you in a second when I pull out my wallet. I got $200 from them right here. This is some other money. Now, before I continue, I'd like to give a shout out to my parents because uh, they are the greatest parents in the world. And they're not like other parents because, well, see me, I'm, I'm a 21 year old living at home with them. I, got, I do have a job, but 
I only get like, uh, I believe $800 a month from it. I, I, I work for my sister, so she uh, pays me what she can. But it's enough to get me by while I'm making these YouTube videos. And you know, most parents, whenever a kid, whenever one of their kids says they want to do something like that, they look at them like they're dumb and they should like go to college and or go to the military. But my parents, I want to give a shout out to them because they, they're letting me figure myself out. And I'm really grateful for it. Thank you. Oh, here's what my sister and her boyfriend John got me. You know me, I love me some Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, they got me the graphic novel to The Silver Eyes. I know that's a book, but I don't, I haven't read any of the other books, so I, I'm confused when it comes to the lore nowadays for FNAF because it's so convoluted. It got convoluted after, after Sister Location, and I got the Twisted Ones and the Fourth Closet. So maybe now I can start reading up on the lore now that I got a summarized book on it. Because I tried reading The Silver Eyes, it was hard for me to follow. So maybe with pictures I can, yeah, I know I'm, I'm a child. I'm a man child. I get it. I need pictures. I need visuals to understand something. Just the writing kind of confused me is all I'm going to say. Another thing my parents got me, uh, you guys should know that I'm a big nerd when it comes to Toy Story. In fact, uh, my next video that's coming out is going to be me showing off my Toy Story collection because it, it's actually pretty impressive because I actually uh, started recollecting them in September. My collection now is crazy. Uh, they got me uh, these. They are retro reimagined uh, Toy Story figures of William Buzz. Had these as a kid, had some stuff like this as a kid. I mean, as a kid, I collected the film accurate uh, toys and stuff, like the Woody doll, the Buzz Lightyear. I got a lot of stuff, but I also had the action figures as a kid. My parents got me a Mr. Mike, a miniature Mr. Mike. My mom said she intended on getting me the full size one, but she didn't, she thought this was the full size one but she didn't notice that it was that tiny. And she felt really bad, but I actually like this because it actually does something different. We're all Andy's toys. This is Woody, a member of the Roundup Gang. Yeah, this came out in 1999, and I think it's actually really cool that you can have Woody's voice speak on here, but it can also do this. Hello, hello. And, uh, hello, 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 hello robotic voice right there it's so cool i got a bucket of soldiers for my mom and dad here uh three or we got three uh parachuting troopers where did the oh there it is here's the injured soldier that, that uh andy's mom stepped on in the first show in the beginning i'm uh, gonna show you guys this shirt right here world's okayest brother cannot Cannot doubt that. I am not a great brother by any standards. I'm just an okay brother. And yes, I'm the type of person to make the best out of a shit sandwich. Like my dad always said. And right here, uh, my granny got me a shirt that says Dildo. Now, my sister is like a, is a little inside joke between me and her. She calls me a dildo all the time. My family to a lot of people may seem weird, but we get along and we're really close with each other. This baby right here is what I got from my Uncle Greg and my Aunt Mandy that live in Ohio. They got me a Nerf gun, and if you open it, uh, you can get these bullets and you can load them in there. You gotta get a canister separately to hold more bullets in case you lose some. They're kind of jello-like, but they're hard, and we could tell that they could hurt someone. So um, I went up to my brother, Tommy, and showed it off to him. He was looking at it and was like, this could hurt someone. I mean, him had a big smile that spread across her face and we we're like, let's test it out. My brother Tommy like cocked it from here and aimed it at my brother Gus and shot him when he wasn't looking and it, it, it pissed him off, but he did confirm it hurt. But Tommy wanted another opinion. So he got me to shoot him in the back. It got a big welt on his back because he wasn't wearing a shirt. Then I said, we need a third opinion. So I told my brother to shoot me in the leg, but he decides He's not going to do that. He's going to shoot me in the love hand. So yeah, that's all I got for Christmas, guys. Next video, I'm going to be showing off my Toy Story collection. And from then on, we are going to have a lot of great gaming content and a lot more other stuff throughout the year of 2024. Hope you guys are ready. So if you like this video, smash that like button, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell like you mean it. This has been your boy, Aby. Out. Hope you guys had a happy Merry Christmas and a happy, happy New Year. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.